September, Chantal Ackerman was in America, writing the script for her English-language musical, The Golden Eighties. She made this fictional film for us, closely following her own experiences as a European director arriving in Hollywood. Yesterday, my mother told me, Chantal, since no one wants to give you any money to make your film, why don't you go to ask your uncle in America? And since I'm sure this film is going to be a hit, at least the money will stay in the family. So Marilyn, Leslie and me went to the Angeles. Information? I would like to have the number of Mr. Libel. L E I B uh, no L E I B I E L. Yes. You don't find? You must have one. It's it's my other uncle, she told me. Oh, you have a Simon Libel. Okay. Okay, just a second, please. A second, please. All right. Four, six, two. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Hi. Are you Mr. Simon Leiber? Oh, good. Are you from Poland? Good. Do you have family in Belgium? You might. But you came when I was six with your wife and your son, don't you remember? You never came? You don't know my mother? Natalia Le Leibel Ackerman? No? You must be the wrong one. You're not from my family then. Or maybe you are anyway. How are you looking? Terrible? Good. But how terrible? With blue eyes? Hmm, you are not supposed to have blue eyes. That's my father's side. You're supposed to be from my mother's side. Are you from Krakow? No from Varso. Oh, then you are really not from my family. To meet me? What for if you are not from my family? All right, I'll call you next week. I have to find my, re my real uncle, you know? Okay, bye. Vous pas le bon oncle! Belgium 267-4059. Allô? Maman? À Los Angeles? Mais non, ne t'inquiète pas, tout va bien. Mais ne crie pas comme ça, je t'entends. Mais non, je ne crie pas. L'oncle, tu es certain qu'il habite à Los Angeles, à Orlando? Oui. Il est riche. Bon, je t'embrasse. Je t'embrasse. Allô, operator? I would like the number of Libel at Orlando. No, not in Florida. Adele. Maybe it's Beverly Hills. My mother told me he's rich, you know. Je crois que j'ai trouvé mon oncle. Je crois que j'ai trouvé mon oncle. Hi, hi, you're here, you're alive. Great. Listen, your uncle is at his girlfriend's house. I'll tell you how to get there. You go five blocks north, you go three blocks east, then two blocks up and around the hill. You can't miss the place. It's 437 North Curson Avenue. Okay, I go there. But by the way, how is my uncle? For a man of 84, he's pretty good. Won't you come in? I prefer to wait. Okay. Okay, I go. I'll be back in five minutes. Okay.
finally here. I can't believe it. We've been waiting for hours. Come in, come in. You're welcome. So you're the friend of my uncle? Your uncle? Oh, yes. Sure, why yes. not? Come on in, sweetheart. God, you are absolutely perfect. I can't believe it. Come in, come in. Help yourself, have a drink, have a bite. So you know what? You better see Aurora. She's waiting out by the pool. Where? Where? Yeah. Oh, where is the pool? Yeah. Oh, sure. Come follow me, hon. I'll show you. Come follow me. You have such a beautiful house here. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Are we going to stay here? Well, of course. We've been waiting for you all day. Don't leave now. Stay. Oh, yes, you have room enough here. Plenty of room. I didn't know my uncle was expecting us. Oh, it's a telephone. Excuse me for a minute. I'll be right back. Yes, it must be my uncle. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. Oh, it is my uncle. Sweetheart, I've been thinking about you all day long. I miss you. Do you miss me? Listen, I want to know everything about what you've been doing all day long. Have you been thinking about me? What are you wearing? You are? Where did you have lunch? You did? Were you thinking about me then? You were? Oh, tell me that you love me. Tell me that you love me. Then my uncle, I'm here. Tell me that you love me. Hi. Oh, I'm over. It's you. It's you. You are my couch. I'm so happy. I'm desesperated. I need you. I need you so much. You have no idea. You have no idea. Nice to meet you, Miss Aurora. Nice to meet you, too. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. And I hope to see you soon. Well, we are going to see each other a lot. You see, my English is so bad. I need to speak like a real American. I need a coach. Oh, I understand. A couch makes everything easier. Yes, I know, but you see, I'm lost. I'm totally lost. I need you. I need you so much. Can you help me? Sure, Miss Aurore. Is it an American movie? No, you see, it's a Belgium Swiss co-production. And the director wants to break in here. So he thinks, you know, all those 500 million people, they don't even speak French. Oh, you can expect any American to speak French. I know, forget about that. Oh, I'm forgetting everything. Me too, you know. Sometimes I even forget where I live. Oh, that's marvelous. Yes? Oh, you're welcome, Oshu. Welcome. Okay, look, that's the script. What? Would you like to take a look? Oh, I'd be delighted. Thank you. Can I talk to you for a while? Yes, for sure. No, can I talk to you for a while? Yes, no, can I talk to you for a while? I absolutely have to talk to someone. It's Henry that I want to talk about. I don't understand him. He knows, nevertheless, he can have everything of me. And I don't ask much of him. A little bit of love, just a little no. bit. No, no, you see, you read too fast. We have to do sentence after sentence. I say the first sentence, and then you correct me. I don't know why I'm doing this, you see. The movie will never be done. I know, I know. <coughs> but you never know. <laughs> Yes, you never know. But you know, it could be done in French. It would be so beautiful. Oh, I would love it. Yeah. But what about the director? Oh, you know how they are. First, they speak to you about a part. Then you've got to have thousands of dinners with them. Then they speak about their wife, their children, their parents, their sickness, their plant problems. And then they tell you they've given the part to an 84-year-old man that they've met in a deli. And you're supposed to understand why this is a fabulous idea. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've got to go to my meeting now. Oh, the phone. <laughs> okay, come to catch me. I absolutely have to talk to absolutely. someone. Absolutely. I absolutely have to talk to someone. It's Henry that I want to talk about. I don't understand him. I it... don't understand him. I don't understand him. him. I don't understand him. him. I don't understand him. And your English is so nice. Oh, you speak so good you. English. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. He knows, nevertheless, he can have everything on me. And I don't ask much of him. A little bit of love. Just a little bit. Because I love him, madame. Like I never loved. I never cheated on my husband. She Cheated. I never cheated on my husband. Cheated. I never cheated on my husband. Cheated. Okay. I never 
cheated on my husband. Cheated. I never cheated on my husband. Never. Nevertheless, I'm not a tender woman. Not at all. In business, they say that there is no one tougher than me. But Dogger. In business, they say that there is no one tougher than me. In business, they say that there is no one tougher than me. In business, they say that there is no one tougher than me. Then they even say that I am a cook. Oh, I'm so hungry. No, uh, uh, no, I'm, uh, no, I'm not a cook. They even say that I am a crook. A crook. Oh. They even say that I am a crook. Well, a rotten woman. A rotten woman. Well, a rotten woman. A rotten woman. Well, a rotten woman. I heard it said, I know I'm not deaf. A rotten woman. Oh, that was my sweetheart. That was my darling. He is so adorable. I, but he's made me late. I really have to get to my meeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the phone. Huh? Yeah. A rotten woman. Yeah. A rotten woman. Well, since I met Henry, I'm not longer the same. I discovered that I have a heart. A heart. I discovered that I have a heart. A heart. I discovered that I have a heart. A heart. A heart. A heart. Yes, Madame Jeanne. A heart. And that I could suffer. Wait for phone calls for hours on hand. Hours. Wait for phone calls. Wait. Wait for phone calls for hours on hand. Wait for a smile, a nice word, a look. It makes me burn all over. It's like a fever at all. I find myself in thousand pieces, without voices, without arms or legs. Everything is swept away. My husband, my children, my business. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. It's him that I want. It's him. He's so delicate. So fragile. Maybe I frighten him, but he also frightens me. I'm bothering you. I know I'm bothering you. Oh, it was my sweetheart again. It was my darling. Oh, hi. So I have to go to my meeting. Oh. I'm so sorry for you. I have to go now. I have to pick up my friends. I'll be back in five minutes. So you wait. Yeah. Hours. Oh, hours. 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 Never got there. I called your uncle's girl. She made a whole dinner for you people, and you never showed up. And it was a kosher meal. A kosher meal? Yeah. There were no meal there. There were only Aurora and Colleen. There were only Aurora and Colleen. You know, I think it was the wrong house. So what? <laughs> Are you from my family too, maybe? I don't think so. We better find an hotel. Let's okay, go. let's go. Hello. An hotel. Oh. 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 No, 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
dormir. Alors il faut dormir. D'accord. Vas-y, on dort. Yeah. On dort. Yeah. 